this th pr video, I'm going to prove that if A is any n by n matrix and C is any real number, if you multiply A by this scalar C, the determinant of CA will be C to the n by times the determinant of A. And I want to do this by induction, believe it or not. This is by induction. How about we say let K equal the number of rows of A we multiply by C. Here, we're multiplying all n rows by c. Okay. So, if k is equal to 1, then the determinant of... Okay, so let a sub 1 denote the matrix oops the matrix determined by multiplying all rows less than one, less than or equal to one by C. So A7, A7 would mean that we took matrix A and we multiplied row one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven by C and we didn't change row eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now, in this case, there's only one row. So, the determinant of A1, the determinant of A1 is clearly C to the 1 times the determinant of A. Now, we assume for K equals, say, T, for K equals T, we assume that the determinant of A sub T is C to the T times the determinant of A. Remember, A sub T is just matrix A where the first T rows are multiplied by this number C. Now, we need to show for k equal t plus 1, that the determinant of a t plus 1 is equal to c to the t plus 1 times a. Okay. Now, a to the t plus 1 is not determined, obtained. It is obtained from matrix AT by multiplying row T plus 1 by C. So we're taking one matrix A sub T and we're multiplying every row, sorry, every entry in one of its rows by C. And we are getting A sub T sub 1. So, by earlier theorem, we know that the determinant of A T plus 1 is equal to C times the determinant of A sub T. But, we're assuming 
the determinant of h sub t is equal to this. It's c times ct, the determinant of a, which is c to the t plus 1 times the determinant of a, and our theorem is proven. Well, I, I, I don't buy that yet. I don't buy that just yet. Now, just want to say one thing, a couple of things. Assume that K, which is T, is less than N. Okay. Since Since it is true, since it is true for all k less than or equal to n, it makes no sense for k to be bigger than n. There is only n rows to multiply since it is that a sub k is equal to the determinant of a sub k is equal to c to the k times the determinant of a It follows that if k is equal to n, that the determinant of our a sub a sub n will, which means all rows of a, because there's only n of them, all rows, the first n rows of a are multiplied by c, but there's only n rows which is equal to, let, let me write that down first. C times A, C times A is equal to A sub K. But this is equal to, or actually A sub N. This is C to the N times the determinant of A. And this is all that we wanted to show. Okay, this is exactly what we wanted to show. And I just chose to do it by induction. It's a unique way of doing it, but that's what I did. This completes the proof of this theorem. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about it. Tell your classmates and teachers, and most of all, watch and learn.